Hello, I'm Landis, and welcome back to the Long Dark Winter Mute. So, when entering the train camp, we were quite lucky to find the bedroll, which is uh, meant we get to sleep the night. It's not the best of mornings, but it is at least a morning. Ooh. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Yeah, because we need more food. Probably not a bad place to get some cattails from. Since we're here. Ah. And I grabbed a couple last night because I needed something to make the fire. Because we couldn't sleep, it was too cold. We need the fire running in the background. It's a bloody wolf. And none of these are actual cat's house. It's relatively annoying. Let's move on before our friend decides to say hello. Hopefully, we can get a bit more information now. We're done with this. Still worried about that bin and what I'm actually going to have to get. <laughs> well, you look like hell, Mackenzie. Thanks. I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I see you're an interior design critic now. He's looking better. You fixed my rifle? Yep. Found one of my own, too. Damn, not bad for a pilot. You're full of surprises. Maybe you can make it after all. Now what? I really need to get going. My friend is out there, and with all this wildlife on the loose... Whoa. Slow down. A rifle will get you out of a jam, but survival's about what you know. And right now, you don't know shit. Hey, I know lots. What do you suggest? Books on tape? Ha! <laughs> Smartass. No. What I suggest is Jeremiah's survival school. Student population one. Let's see if we can keep you alive long enough to graduate. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Survival school? I really don't have time for this right now. Legitimately. Look, you don't have a choice, pal. I we got this far without you, Trapper. Not with a blood-hungry bear on your ass, you haven't. Trust me, Mackenzie. You really want to find your friend? There's miles of wilderness in all directions from here. You'll never make it. No, I'm listening. Teach you what you need to know. And then? You'll have to do something for me. Kill the bear. That part goes without saying. You don't kill the bear. We, neither of us, get out of here alive. Okay. Lights. Did you see the lights in the sky again? Yeah, I could hardly sleep, it was so bright. There's something different about them. Not like the usual aurora borealis. The lights, the aurora, seem to power things up. Lights mainly. You sure? I didn't see anything like that. You have anything electrical in here? Nope. I'm off grid for a reason. What reason is that? None of your business. Wolf seems scared of the light. Scared of the aurora? No, lights. Like lights around buildings. They avoided the lights. You sure you haven't been into that morphine, pilot? Never mind. Survival lessons. Let's talk about some survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Ooh, I get to choose. Let's do fishing. Do we really have time for this? No. You won't always have the means to hunt, so you need to know more than one way to feed yourself. Protein's scarce in the winter. Fishing might keep your dumb pilot ass from dying out there. You sure have a way with words. Head to the camp office at the edge of Mystery Lake. You'll find the gear you need for ice fishing. There's some huts on the lake. Bring back some fish. And I'll know you won't die from starvation at least. Why do I feel this is thinly veiled scheme to get me to feed you for the winter? Nothing thinly veiled about it. Look at me, Mackenzie. 
That old bear wrecked me good. I won't hunt or trap this season. If me teaching you means we both survive, what's the harm? You want to try your hand at it? Yes, I'll be back with the fish. I can smell it already. Story. Ooh. Okay, forest talkers. When I was out there, I came across mention of the forest talkers. You know anything about that? Oh yeah, I know all about the talkers. What are they? Some kind of band? Or cult? Nothing like that. Eco-activists. Terrorists, some call them. They've been fighting for years against further exploitation of Great Bear. So, are they dangerous? Not usually. They'll spike the occasional tree, tie themselves to a logging or mining equipment in protest. I don't think they've ever hurt anybody. But I'm not really up to date on current events. So, terrorists or activists? Which is it? Depends on your perspective, I guess. I try to stay out of politics. One thing's for sure, they've been doing a lot more than just talking lately. What do you mean? A few nights ago I heard a lot of shooting coming from the other side of the lake. Could have been hunters, I guess, but they aren't usually up this time of year. You think it was the forest talkers? No idea. For their sake, I hope they got the hell out of the area before things got shut down. Won't be good for them with old bear out there, and angry. Ooh, wolves. Sure are a lot of wolves around here. Didn't used to be that way, I told you before. Something's stirring them up. Maybe a bear's not the biggest of our worries. You just stay focused on what I'm telling you. Watch out for the old bear. He's cunning as hell. Make a wolf look like a damn lap dog. Right. Wolves, they hate fire, like most wildlife. Campfire will keep them away from you at night. Most of the time. Improvise a torch if you have to. Flares will work. You know, one of those emergency ones for road accidents. Sometimes, if you get lucky, even a stone to the head will scare them off. If I don't have any of those things, then you wait until they're close and hit them with anything you can. Knife, hammer, hatchet, or your damn hands. And you don't stop hitting until one of you is dead. There's a theme here, isn't there? Yeah. This is it. Fight if you want to live. It's more Hobbes than Darwin. What? Forget it. At some point I'm going to need to get out of here and find my friend. Only one way to go for you, pilot. And that is? You want to get to Perseverance Mills? You gotta pass through the guts of the dam. Doesn't seem possible. When I was in there the whole place seemed locked down. The parts that weren't falling down anyway. That may be, but it's still the only way to get where you need to go. Come on, tell me more. Not till I'm sure you can make it. Make it where? Through the dam? The dam. And beyond. Okay, oh, phone, yes. I heard a phone ring in the old hunting lodge, where I found the extra rifle. You know anything about that? Nah, but it makes sense. How oh, so? Old phone lines don't depend on power like the new systems do. One of the many ways the old infrastructure is better than what we have now. Right. I'm serious. Everything's so integrated now, so linked. It's a house of cards. One system fails, they all fail. Any idea where the call could have come from? Old analog system could still work. No telling how the lines are set up. Call could be from anywhere on Great Bear, really. If you know what the lines and switches connect to, you could probably figure it out. Where could I find that out? Those old analog lines? Bet nobody even knows they're still hooked up. Need an old phone company line map. No idea where you could find one though. Must be archives somewhere. I keep that in mind. The old ways are the new ways again. Okay. Uh, we read all of that. Right, so I just need to do that. Wait, wait, behave. So we've done story. Trust. We're on 20. Alright, um. Hmm. 
Well, we're going to need to be carrying a lot of stuff. So we're not going to need to be carrying a lot of stuff. Let's drop you, because we know where we're going. Oh, we don't need water. Right, let's move on. Got some fishing to do. We don't need to worry about the camp. Oh, crap. Because we've uh, already been there and we've already got fishing to do. Although it has sent me to the camp, so let's go there anyway. As long as nothing happens, I'm just going to skip us right there. Oh! Wrong one. That's all. That was not supposed to happen. So, I was about to say, we made it with no real bad things happening, but obviously that didn't happen. I didn't top up my meds while I was there either. This should be okay. Bastard all came out of nowhere. It didn't do much damage. Right, so we made it here. We nip inside, although I've got the funny feeling it's just going to tell me to get the fishing stuff that we already have. Let's get the rose hips. Because we're going to need them. Right, it says general updated. No, just get fishing meat now. Oh, lake gunshots, yeah. Head to the far side of Mystery Lake near the cabins. Okay, yeah, we've already been over there, but we'll go anyway because now there's a reason apparently. We can do the fishing on the way back. Whereabouts is it? Okay. Oh, we'll be able to pick up some cattails here as well. I hope. Apparently not. Hmm. Bummer. Don't see anything of interest. Oh, wait there. Like someone found trouble. So we just get a dead body. Is that genuinely it? No, follow the trail of blood. Ah. Okay. And I wish I had my rifle. Just leave me alone. I'm not opening this door for anyone. It's okay, I'm not here to take anything from you. Are you with the forest orcas? I am, but I'm not letting you in. They killed my friend. How do I know you aren't one of them? Uh, you don't, but I'm not. Maybe I can help. I'll die out here without my gear. We left most of our supplies at the old logging cabin while we fished here. Can you get them for me? Okay, anything else? Yeah, in that abandoned dam we found evidence that proves there shouldn't be logging in Mystery Lake. I need that evidence. Documents nobody wanted to be found. We hid them until we could retrieve them. Under a floor tile at the bottom of the stairwell. If you can help me get the documents back, wow, it'd be a huge win for the environment. If you care about, you know, living in the world. I have a feeling the world has bigger problems right now, but I see what I can do. Here's the key to the trailer where we stashed our supplies. I'll slide it under the door. Okay. 
Uh, working on it. I'm on the key. So. Great. Supply. And shot. Jesus. Are you dirty girls? Our list of jobs just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I get rather aggravated. Hang on, we've actually been in that house, I think. Interesting. Alright, is there enough day? us to fish up five kilos of fish. That's the question. Bloody detours. Right, some wood if we need to start a fire. Yay, joys of ice fishing. <laughs> no, it's fish for three hours. Well, two kilos nearly. Three and a half. I think that's enough. Definitely enough. No, no. Ah. enough fish right no 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 stop give them to the old guy uh, smash one of you and you now we've got to try and get back to the trapper's cabin smelling to high heaven We're only two, so we're not the smelliest. Still pretty damn smelly there. Okay, so we're almost back. Ran into a couple ah. of wolves. Oh, that's sore. Ouch! And did something incredibly stupid just then. Ah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say, ran into a couple of wolves, but it was relatively uneventful. Uh, and, um, yeah, slept the night at the camp lodge, just because uh, the energy was low. It's making it very difficult to actually travel anywhere. Pain in the ass that was. Massive pain in the ass. Let's have a look at our clothes. Earmuffs, gloves, shoes. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff. Took some battering then. Yeah, let's get this fish in here. She wait. Yeah, for that. So I can keep one to cook. Right. Course we're not gonna Oh yeah, I forgot I had you. Yeah, eat it. Nice. Drop. Oh. And there. And we need some water too. Hey buddy. Hunting Clothing, harvestable plants. Seems if you have your way, I'll never be a vegetarian out here. I'm sure it's no coincidence that most of the animals out here are made of meat. Mackenzie, 
And aren't there any plants I can eat? Well, yeah, most of the year. You can subsist mainly on plants you can harvest. Berries, nuts, mushrooms, but not much grows in winter. There must be something. Definitely cattails. They don't taste like much, but they'll keep you from starving. Usually find them near water. Rishi mushrooms, they grow on tree stumps. You can make a tea out of them. Good natural antibiotic. Rosips, they look like little red berries, also good in a kind of tea. Great for treating pain. Old man's beard moss, you'll see it hanging from trees. You can wrap it in a bandage and use it to prevent bites from getting infected. Learn to identify each of these, as they could save your life, Mackenzie. You ready to give it a shot? Yes. Then go to it. Oh, mighty killer of fuzzy animals. It's a sarcasm, Mr. Jeremiah. Alright, okay, so I can't take more than one. I can't actually eat you yet, because I can't pick you up individually. Come on. Now, what else do we actually need to do? Four cattails, eight rose hips, eight old man's beard, eight rice. Okay, do we leave any of that here? No. Hang on. It's white. If I pick you, put you in there. So I can actually use this locker. Oh, that's cool. Let's save me. Keeping all this crap on the floor. Interesting point, actually, we can give him his uh, pork and beans, can't we? Trust. Something on your mind? Yes. Take my pork and beans. Nice, that's 60 right there. Ooh. Flares. There seem to be a lot of wolves around Mystery Lake. Yeah, even more than usual. Any suggestions for how I should deal with them? Apart from staying far away or shooting them if I get too close. I know a place where you might be able to find some old flares. They don't seem to like the noise. Throw one at them and they're likely to run. Thanks. Okay. Mystery Lake. Can you tell me more about this area? What do you want to know? Seems like the more I know about the area, the better chances I have of surviving. If you think a lesson on local history is going to help you out here, fill your boots, as the islanders like to say. Okay, and survival tools. Pretty handy out there for a pilot. You won't get far without a good hatchet or knife, though. I'm keeping my eyes open for them. You know, you find a forge and the right materials. Can properly fashion a half decent hatchet on your own. I'm listening. There's an old forge near the abandoned Spence homestead. Over the other side of the musket, you'll find most of what you need there. Great. If you give me a mission to go to the bloody musket. You bloody have. Go to the forge in the forlorn muskeg, locate blueprints near the forge. Bloody hell. Not sure I can be asked with that, to be perfectly honest with you. Right. Back to sorting this shit out. Yeah, that'll probably do. Right. Now we've got to get some plants quickly. You want cattails? It wasn't eight of those. Me four. And you also want eight of you. Right, now we need Roshi and old man. That's some old man. All 
trying to find eight of these bastards is going to be hard, though. Knowingly, I think I dropped ten before we come to this chapter. Could get some sticks. Cheese is uh, trussed up that way. What would have been nice if I knew this mission was here, then I could uh, do it while doing the others. I'm relatively lucky that I picked up the um, cattails when I did. There's a supply cache here. Shots. So it doesn't actually tell me anything about where I can find these things. Right, it's a chopper's cabin. Yeah, so it's that one. Somewhere around here. Wait, is that? Yeah. Yeah, because there's the flare one, wasn't it? It's not the right way. Haha. Ah. <laughs> okay, now we need some Roshi. Oh man, beard's not going to be hard to find. Well, technically, we could try and do it on the way to the forge. Ah, fuck it. We've got the mission, we might as well go to the forge. What could possibly go wrong? Forge is there. Let's stop and get the forest talker thing on the way. A bloody long way to travel, though. Alright, I'm going to head there, but in the interest of reducing the episode length, probably going to just jump cut us there. Ah, here's a big rock. On the map, there is a... Forest talk a loot cache thing around the big rock. Yeah, keep an eye out for a cache. There she is. That's what I'm looking for. Nope. Nope. Shake. Okay, onwards. Oi. That. Took a fecking long time. We are here. It's time for us to find what we came for. We need the coal. We need the metal. Don't want combat boots. Hope nobody needs this Ooh, Maybe. we have ever had one of those. We got bed to sleep at. Well, we're going to need to sleep before we start anyway. Let's have a quick loot, see what we've won. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, I've taken since we didn't take him last time. Forge blueprints. Heavy ammo. Nice. Uh, don't need two heavy ammo. To be fair, I'm not even taking one from here. This will come in handy. Okay, so what's our actual quest now? See it, we've done it. We don't even need to make them. Oh yeah, I can see this one being a pain in the ass. Might have to head back and get that before we leave. Any more nice shiny loots? I could use this. Get okay, there. <laughs> Let's get some sleep after that fantastically, stupidly long, pain in the ass journey. If you enjoyed this video, then tickle the like button, perhaps subscribe, and check out the rest of the channel. And why not join us on the Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Patreon? Links are in the description and rolling through the credits right now. I've been Landis. This has been the long dark into mute. Thank you very much. 
Sí, sí. 